Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, I killed Aelrindal. Well, he kind of killed himself because he decided to teleport, like, five kilometers ahead of everyone and try to throw a fucking marble at the big bad guy in this. <laughs> uh, so, job, he Shady? is lying yeah. dead on the ground, probably about, like, four meters away from the cane of Avranches. And then about four kilometers to the south, everyone else is in a ship uh, with Ali Allendale as the captain, and they just saw what happened. The Shardana just came to Avrancha's attacked, uh, and took everyone through a portal, which you do not actually know where it goes to, but you could probably make some assumptions from what you've heard. Or seen through the crystal ball. Uh, so that is where we left off. So I'll start with the pe- everyone on the ship since Ailer and Dallas dead right now. Are you sure you don't want to start with a lifeless corpse? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I roll Ailer, for stealth? What are you doing? <laughs> can I roll for stealth or something? Yeah. <laughs> a small fly buzzes down and crawls into his mouth and then out his nose. Like, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's disgusting, man. Hey, that's real life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'd probably be able, you probably saw where he ended up, and you probably saw the big bad guy <coughs> attack him with his sword, and you saw him fall down, but you didn't see Aylard all throw a fucking marble at him. Honestly, I think Damn. we didn't even need to see it happen, we knew he was gonna die the moment we all knew, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, Aaron was a good guy! I'm just gonna yeah. fight the final boss by myself. It'll <laughs> I'm be just, fine. It's, I'm only level... <laughs> Floor. <laughs> He's level like, well, 50. It'll be fine. He felt a need to finally do something to make his parents <laughs> proud. <laughs> but once again, he failed. Nice. And up in the heavens, his parents see He's... him entering the pearly gates, and they're like, wow, you fucked up. <laughs> his are parents you... are alive. Are you talking about... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell them. I'm not telling them what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, why was this so funny? Calm down, bro. <laughs> I thought he was trying to live in his parents' memory. Oh, you're an no, old failure. He was trying to make them oh. proud because he never had done that before. Okay, are we talking about, are we oh, talking about like, good. his in-game yeah, parents? Yeah, we're talking about his in-game I was going to make that joke. But... <laughs> wow, you let your parents down out of, in the game and out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Your dad's gonna listen to the stream. He's gonna be like, "Wow, that's my son." <laughs> my dad, my dad didn't even listen to me. He'd be like, "Wait, what do you mean? You play Dungeon and Dragons, <laughs> nerd?" <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so Ryan, Baron, Blaze, Lazarus, what would you all like to do right now? Are you trying to get you at branches as soon as possible? Yeah, didn't somebody use, like, a wind spell on the sails? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Actually, uh, all three of us tried to use a wind spell. <laughs> <laughs> it was my <laughs> idea at first. It was custom like, so. wind, right? Yeah. So you yeah, yeah, like, sit there. Yeah. I yeah. used yeah. fist of unbroken air. Good for you. Unbroken fist. Yeah, unbroken fist of fist. unbroken air. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, are we going triple speed? <laughs> <laughs> We're going yeah, you, sonic <laughs> speed. This is yeah. the fastest you've ever been going on a uh, ship. Even though this is just a small, like, Small ship that's used mostly as a barge, but this one could win fucking races. Nice. It's going that fast. I know this is an emergency, but we should really think about this. (laughs) We should enter a race. (laughs) Uh, Ryan, are you wearing that, uh, drunkard's hat? No. No? No. Okay. I forgot I had that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) It's okay. Okay, so, uh, you're going super fast, close to two Avranches, and then you see about five more Fardana, uh, just enter through, through the city through a portal. Amazing. And you kind of see them just walking around and repairing any damage that is done. They kind of left the bodies where they are for now, though. Uh, they're just trying to clean up the mess and make sure it doesn't seem like anything major, like any fights went down here. That makes sense. I mean, it wasn't really a fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the only thing that really happened was someone threw a marble. Can you think don't revive me? <laughs> Screw you guys. Uh, but those Shardana are too 
uh, are concentrating so much on what they're doing and using magic to repair things that they have not noticed your boat. The giant fleet didn't notice it either. Are we just like a tiny ass (laughs) robot or something? It's just like a small barge. She carried like 10 people, maybe 20 at a maximum from one place to the other, usually from a branch to mainland. So, when we get there, we're totally going to kill those guys, right? And I wonder how Aaron does. <laughs> well, he's dead. <laughs> There's no way he lived. <laughs> if he did, I will, I will, I will apologize. <laughs> There's a chance. No. <laughs> no, there isn't. He's dead. <laughs> if we get there and he's not dead, then I'll be surprised. How do we deal with these fellows up ahead? We could uh, sneaky sneak, or we could stab stab. Your choice. I think stealth is charge straight. Stab 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 stab. <laughs> stab. Sweet. So no, you do no, see these. You do see these guys going in all directions. So they're all separate. How many are there? Uh, there are five of them. Okay, there's four of us. So one of us will take two, <laughs> and then the other ones get to take one. To be honest, it should probably be me. I take have two swords. <laughs> <laughs> he has two swords. He does. Okay, go ahead. Whatever, man. <laughs> I did the smallest one. <laughs> you guys just charge in, it works. Trust me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, what's your opinion? <laughs> oh, right. He's dead. <laughs> did Aelrindal have all of the marbles? Or yeah, they- I yeah, did. Yeah. Okay. Really glad we got to explore this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you guys want to do while you're making your way there? Like, no. anyone, do you want to talk to Ali or do you want to, like, Prep stuff or anything like that. No, I'm good. No? I'm just gonna make sure to stop the spell before we crash into the rocks and die. Okay. Oh Did man, we... didn't even think of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did we name our wolf? Oh, it wolf. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it was uh, Lovecraft. Uh, oh yes, it, it was. Um, it was Lovecraft. something Evan Lovecraft or Lovecraft. Evan, Stockholm. Lovecraft. Stockholm, Evan Lovecraft. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that was fucked up. No, he's a great guy. I love that wolf. He's coming with me, by the way. He's yours. He's yours. <laughs> yeah. I don't want him. my bud. He's my pup. Yeah, so uh, you guys get to get really close to the city of Avranches, and then Ali kind of shouts at you all to stop the wind spells. Calm and down, assume, woman! <laughs> I assume you guys do that. Yeah. And then the ship slowly slows down, and... Almost perfectly, Ali just seems to uh, park the boat, like, right perfectly in the harbor, right beside the... Uh, how, how old did she parallel park? <laughs> Sick drift, Ali! <laughs> it's a poultry spot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she'll ask you guys if you guys want her to come with you guys. Probably not. No, she'll just die, probably. Are you good at fighting? Uh, I, I've held my own. I, I, I prefer not to fight because I might die. Yeah, it's safe for the boat. Stay here. I agree. Not to discriminate against gnomes or anything, but you know, we're just gonna discriminate anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just uh, keep not to discriminate, ready. but you're we're all course. tiny. And we're big. short-handed already. We don't need you. <laughs> wow. <a> short joke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that in character? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could read your mind right now, so you'd be thinking, should I just leave? As soon as you guys, like, get off the boat. <laughs> Listen, Ali, uh, I lost my voice. Uh, sorry about that. He's a bit of an asshole. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you just sail away. It's not safe. <laughs> Actually, don't leave. No, don't, don't <laughs> sail away. I just away. realized we're on an island. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't sail away, uh, but just hide. Just keep the boat ready until we come running back. Okay, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Voice number ten. <laughs> and now that <laughs> Alien goes in here, if we come back with any items that we did not previously own, <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> That's still not okay. Still yeah, but Alien does not hear to bully us. <laughs> yeah. Remember that I can steal things! <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still lawful good, so... Yeah. Oh, I, I don't care. I'll I just won't shit. steal things in front of him. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan's only you awful guys, good when it involves just children. Saying, you guys definitely want to be on my good side. Not, like, as a threat. But that just was such a threat. threat. No, that was 100% no, a threat. No, just for, like, later on. Because, yeah, 
Just saying. <laughs> That's definitely a threat. <laughs> like, I mean, you this guys just low-key said you're going to steal, like, all my loot off of, like, <laughs> off of me. Well, yeah. Off of your friend that was companion that we went, like, on this mini journey with, and you're just going to steal my stuff and leave me there. Well, it was, it was, I thought that was obvious. <laughs> I will do my best Have to ever try to any video game side. ever? Every time your ally yeah. dies, you but just take his things and you move on. I can't on. promise anything. Alright, man, just saying. Come on, remember when we swung across on those ships? That was awesome. <laughs> I really wish you weren't stupid and teleported into a fucking war. You should have grabbed onto my back, man. I should have teleported. <laughs> I tried to do that. Gabe said I wasn't allowed. The DM said I had to die. You had to die. <laughs> and you did. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway. I, just, I just take your gold and use it to revive you. See, no, how much that's gold? Don't waste any more gold. Uh, I can't say. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's some bullshit. I have 75 gold pieces. I have. I used to have 250, but now I only have 50. You I have you here that I owe you. <laughs> Good. Yeah. How much money do you have, Lazarus? <laughs> Listen, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to come up with 250 gold pieces because yeah. the town is uh, just completely overtaken, and uh, we're gonna steal shit. Man, we're just gonna go to Stillsby. And do some sweet dealings in the black market. We can't go to Stillsby. Why not? Because we... Fuck it. What do you mean, why not? Okay, we went there. We made a deal with the guy. And then we smuggled out people that he wanted to kill. No. He knows all our names, all our faces. (laughs) He wants us to die because we fucking got rid of that dude he wanted to kill. Actually, yeah, he did send us out. Also, you do believe that your friend, uh, Beast Snack, who knows ways to the depths, or at least one way to the depths, is in Stillsby. And there we fucking go. So, we're just gonna... I thought he was going to make a team home. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. We gotta revive him. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No. We can try to revive him, but yeah. we're not going to exert them out after we get for Prince. I just want to go to Sillsby and mess with Shabadaw. Oh. That's a terrible idea! <laughs> also, <laughs> in the way that dra- not all drows know ways to the depths, not yeah. all deep gnomes know the way to the, to the depths, so... Okay. I think we just tie him to the back Listen. of the wagon and drag him away. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you want to revive Alien Dell, that's fine, but we don't have money, so you're going to have to suck it up, and we're going to have to rob some people. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we'll rob some kids. Next. Well, that's just cruel, all right? That's, that's literally stealing anyway, candy that is Let's funny. just go into the city. Yeah, so you <laughs> yeah. get off the boat and you're walking towards the city. Uh, you're on the south side of the city. Uh, you notice that the... Uh, Fardana are all kind of more in the central section of the city in one of the marketplaces. So that is in the central, but, uh, central western section of the city. And they all were walking different di- directions. So where would you guys like to go? I think we should all, or we should split into like groups of two. Um, Ryan, you and I will go this way. Uh, Faron and Lazarus will go that way. Right. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. That's funny because his character is suspicious, very suspicious. Oh, I, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I would want to go with you to keep an eye on you. Nice. I know. That's <laughs> amazing. Worked out great, Clayton. You did good. That was, that was my idea. Was yeah. <laughs> I love being put on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> it was Clayton's idea, everyone. Yes. Right. Comment in the comments. Just edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how in double edited it, it, edit it in now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, put in the comments who you think is going to die next. <laughs> <laughs> My vote's Ryan. It's Ryan right Dallin The screen comes up, a uh, party <laughs> member's died. <laughs> dot, dot. <laughs> One. <laughs> and the count begins. <laughs> How many characters are I going to have to make? Why are you talking in Sonic's voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Sonic speed! <laughs> I'm fucking dead! <laughs> Ralph, you illiterate fuck. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll start with uh, La- uh, Lazarus and Baron. Whatever. Uh, so where exactly would you like to go? I can also tell you like the... The businesses and places in the city too, if you want. Well, I'm gonna go try and find Aaron Dow. Okay, so I'm heading off. To. Uh, you did you did see that he was in kind of the main marketplace, which is on, uh, no. right around where, uh, <laughs> right kind of in the center of where the Fardana were, just right in pe- between all of them. Okay, yeah, I'll head over there. Do not okay. cut his head off. <laughs> no, not cut his head off. I was just kidding about that. <laughs> Did we mention on the last episode? No one knows, right? Yeah, that you were going to cut a man's head off. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. If you like me, I swear to God. 
fucking kill you. Yeah, I'll follow Farron okay. and uh, keep a close eye out for any Shardana. Okay. Uh, eventually, as you make your way uh, there, you do see one Shardana up ahead that seems like, unless you go like around a lot of buildings, he's, he's going to be right in the way of you getting to Ail Rendell. Oh, Lazarus, we seem to have an issue. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Lazarus! Oh my God. <laughs> I going straight at him. Okay. Lazarus, <laughs> you yell in charge, just gets his attention immediately, <laughs> and uh, my character prefers direct confrontation. Can <laughs> you roll initiative, please? Watch these Shardana be just so fucking OP. Really and then, like Ryan and I'll be walking by, we'll see these two get absolutely destroyed. Be like, I really hope not. <laughs> Smash and do your thing, man. Oh, nice. Dirty twenty. What? Blind them. What? No. <laughs> That's my yeah. thing. I blind people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this probably would be a good idea. Uh, Blaze, what did you get? Oh, no, or, sorry, not you. Uh, Farron, what did you get? I'm rolling initiative. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, if yeah. this <laughs> Ferdana saw you guys after he yelled charge. Well, he didn't then, stealth, so I guess so. So, unless you want to run away or do something plus else. Plus two. Plus two. 21. Drone. Okay, is initiative plus dex? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dex, yeah. Okay, so, uh, first will be Blades. I mean, sorry, Farron. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. I'm not allowed to play yet, Gage. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... So, now that you're up close to this, Fredana, uh, you see that he, like, he has blue-tinged skin, he has, uh, silvery hair, he's, like, probably around seven foot two, he's pretty wide, and... Like, not fat wide, but like built wide. Okay. Uh, and you do see that he has a core staff, but you assume he uses mostly magic to attack. I'm just gonna raise my hand, though. You don't need to see. I'm gonna cast blindness. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's a constitution saving throw? Yeah, 14. You gotta beat that. Angry. You failed. <laughs> He's blind. He's blind, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next will be Lazarus. Going to walk in the park. I just hit him. <laughs> so I'm going to try swinging my two long swords at him. I'm going to mark him with my Slayer's Prey. First time of each turn, I add a d6 to an attack against him. And does, then... Hmm? Does he have to do a same No, I just mark him. Okay. And then I'm going to try hitting him with my dual long swords. So would his blindness <coughs> give them advantage on yeah. attack? Because he can't dodge or whatever? It doesn't specifically say yeah. that in the spell, like, Blindness and death. Well, I got a net yeah. 20. So oh, nice. And a <coughs> 15. It gives disadvantage uh, on the attacker. On the yeah. Attack. yeah. 15 hits. So oh. the game off strong. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's see. You're already doing better than Ailer and all, dude. <laughs> Man, I look at this appointment. I wish we had fans because then, uh, because <laughs> then they could do like a sick like fan art of like just alien doll like popping on over like, oh whoa, what's up? Look at this. Oh, there's a big guy there. Hey, ooh, here, have a marble <laughs> and then die. <laughs> or just I mean, a painting of at least he hit him with the marble. He didn't just miss. Yeah, that would have been amazing. I wish, never miss. I wish I would have killed you when I threw that marble. Why do you want Wow. Well, okay, awesome. This, this um, guy's looking pretty bad. I missed what happened. What'd you do? 21 damage. I didn't add 20. Can't when see I worth it. 21 is weak. <laughs> weak. Was that yeah, just like okay. your, your long swords? Or? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Jesus. I mean, they're normally D8. So. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, so after him being blind, he has no idea where anyone is, and then you just sneak up, like, right beside him and slap as hard as he can and just, like, hit him right in the stomach or wherever you're aiming and it, it like deals a huge slash in him. Spin the wind. <laughs> and he's bleeding pretty badly. Uh this guy is going to Mommy <laughs> <laughs> He's you gonna cast the Thunder Wave at third level. What the fuck is wow. Holy shit. So much for blinding. <laughs> Wait, he cast what? Thunder Wave. What's it? Uh, it's a constitution saving throw, yes. and you'll need to beat a 14. Mm, yes! <laughs> I have a dirty 20. 14. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, 
Yeah, you you saved them. Uh, so but you will still take damage. Yeah. yeah. Just half damage, right? Yeah. Each of you takes seven damage. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Are you almost dead? No. <laughs> if I took the full damage, it would be. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, and then it is uh, Farron's turn. Yay. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to cast Gust of Wind on him. Okay, so that'll just knock him back. 15 feet if he fails a strength save of 14 or higher. You got a nat one. That's a <laughs> <laughs> So the wind just blows. He's and also prone. So after getting uh, blinded and then hit by two short swords, short swords, long swords, long swords, long swords, he's totally confused. And then a gust of wind just blows and, uh, He's not expecting it at all. He thinks that you guys are in the other direction. It just hits him, and he flies back about how many feet? Fifteen. He flies back fifteen feet, lands straight on uh, his head, and falls down prone. And he'll actually take uh, three damage from that, too. Nice. And that's continuous, so if he wants to move forward, he has to use an extra foot every movement. Okay. And blindness isn't a concentration spell, is it? No. no. Okay. It just okay. lasts for a minute. Okay, so Lazarus. Nice. I have advantage since he's prone. And blind. <laughs> <laughs> he's prone and blind. He's going to be like fighting. <laughs> you guys are bullying this guy. Yeah, so I just slowly walk up 15 feet, stab my two swords into wow. his chest. Just, just <laughs> like, like what I walk up on him. Well, that's uh, 23 and a 19. Yeah. It's... And I don't even need to roll yeah. that. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a nat 20. <laughs> no, I'm taking the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm stabbed by so many dice! So that's 4, 6, plus my d6 is 3, is 9 damage. Okay. Uh, he is still alive, but looking really, really bloodied. Like he's, he's got holes in him, he can't see, he's totally confused, he just hit his head. <laughs> And the wind is blowing at him from a direction that he has no idea where it is. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sad. <laughs> I want my mom. Give me a lunch for me. The gigantic guy said it wouldn't go like this. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it is his turn again, so we'll do Thunder Wave at third level again. Just laying there? He's yeah. like, yeah, might as well cast a spell. Well, uh, he'll get up and then cast it. <laughs> I like the point of just being like, what is it? Like, I'm not gonna win. Uh, so you'll need to do a con save and throw too. I failed. Okay. I <laughs> failed. Uh, 13 damage. <laughs> Is that gonna damage my lifeless corpse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're not like right. Oh, there okay. Because uh, this is a bit south of the uh, main market. Wicked. And you guys are each blown back 15 feet each, and it also create a huge boom that can be heard from like 300 feet away. So you guys uh, blaze and dry, and you also hear this big boom, and assume that the other Fardana probably did too. Awesome, real subtle guys. Uh, <laughs> you in the ghetto part of town. <laughs> uh, so, Baron, it's back up to you. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Am I, am I prone? No, you were just not back. Okay. That's all. I'm, I'm uh, prone to what? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm glad you're dead. Are we all? I gotta lift up my hand and I'm gonna cast Firebolt and fire it. Okay. This motherfucker. Although I'm gonna kinda be holding myself and limping because I'm in quite a bit of pain now. I'm gonna take my kill. Thought we were a team. Uh, that, oh wait. 18. You hit. Nice. <laughs> Wow, these guys are actually pretty tough. Maybe we should have stuck together. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ryan? You can give us a chance yet, yeah, Frank. We're going to nail it. That is that's that's seven fire damage. <laughs> we're going to end up falling. Yeah, yeah, he burns dash. <laughs> I'm really worried we're going to have like the, the goofy duo going on now. Uh, yeah, so 
from just all of this, all of the these injuries is taken from like the, uh, from your blindness to you slapping him with your sword like four times. Nice. To being knocked back and hitting his head hard on the rocks. And yeah, all together, he, it's, he's probably glad that he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a piece to this endless torment. But you guys would have assumed that the other Fardano would be coming now, too, because they would have heard the big boom from the thunder. I think it's best that we find out in Del's body quick. Agreed. And I will go to uh, Ryan and Blaze. And that's how you. That's the seventh way to make a crate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just hear. Boom! <laughs> And then after another like seven seconds or so, boom! <laughs> <laughs> We're not Sounds like things are going really well over there. Um, where, where do you want to go to next? <laughs> All right. Well, we should probably go check out that uh, enormous boom we just. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we split up? I, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> <was> your idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh right, we were going to take them on individually, but um, we're actually. The boom would probably would have happened a little bit after because they did walk away and you guys were okay, going to walk yeah, in your own right. direction. So which, where would you like to go first? Well, we're, the whole point of this is to recover his body, right? So... They're, they're headed to the market square, aren't they? Yeah. 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 No, so the they're going to recover his body. Okay. Uh, while they get the body, do you think we should get some money? Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess we should... Uh, I lost my voice. Um, but yes, we should do that. <laughs> 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 Listen, uh, things might get a little uh, sticky fingered. Uh, and by that, I mean I'm gonna walk into that building over there. I'm gonna take everyone's money. Like that's what's gonna happen very really quick. Okay. All right. I don't really agree with this, but uh, just hopefully we'll pain. save all these people anyway. So I mean, I'll consider it. I'm not there, but you guys can just go to the castle, steal from the king. You know what they say? When in Rochester. Oh, yes. that's, yes. that's true. <laughs> the castle is in the very center of the city, and you guys are on the south side. So you'd be walk- walking closer to where the Fardana would be. Oh, I was really looking forward to holding up that bagel shop. <laughs> 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 I want all your money with cream cheese! <laughs> oh, I saw. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um. Yeah, we should definitely go to the castle because it's the right thing to do. Robbing the king instead. <laughs> right. He owes us money. He, he was going to pay us for going to and now he's Summer's dead. Day. Oh, well. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, anyway. No, let's go. Let's anyway. do it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> let's didn't rob that, the king. Didn't that bad guy take the king when he... No, he, he just him. killed him in the middle. He took oh, his, yeah, took his castle right. too, a No one you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go. Righty-ho! Okay, so you um, got... I'm going to oh. just cast Shield of Faith on uh, Blaze real quick. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you plus two AC. Oh, hey, thanks Damn. for that, man. That's we don't need cool. any more people dying. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you guys walk, to- walk up the main street going to the castle, and... You guys got, like, almost to the moat, and then you just hear the two loud booms, like, about ten seconds apart. Um, they're capable. They should be fine. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, do you want to go back? Are you worried about it? No, um, it's, it's fine. I'm not really <laughs> worried <you're> either. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I know how the battle's going to go. I think it's going to go really well. Let's not go there. Yeah, let's just What go. do you think, Lovecraft? Then I'll turn to the wolf. Oh, I forgot. He'll just be like, <laughs> that is not, that is like a fucking Scottish <laughs> terrier. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to say anything at all. <laughs> anyway, let's just go on to the castle. He's Jesus. Jesus. That's my new character. It's just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> like you're now yeah. Stockholm Evan Lovecraft. <laughs> what do you think? Just, uh, yeah, I think we should go... Change <laughs> <laughs> my name to Brian. I'll be like Brian from Family Guy. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Brian, look out! <laughs> okay, no, let's go, right, to yeah, let's go to the castle. Yeah, so you get to the castle, and uh, the door is closed, but it's unlocked, so you guys walk in, and... Uh, 
where this castle do you want to go through? Like, there's the throne room, there's the chess room, well, just regular chess. Then there would be, there'd probably be a keep somewhere where a lot of treasure yeah. is and stuff, so. We, the king's rooms to look for the keep. And the keep. if it's locked, then I guess we'll go to the king's room and try and find the keep. Uh, how about you go straight to the keep? Uh, I'll go, uh, mm. sorry. Mm. Please, please, please. Uh, <laughs> a testing, uh, no, uh, I'll, I'll go to the king's room and look for any uh, money there, or perhaps a key in case, and you go straight to the keep, and uh, hopefully it's unlocked, though there's unlikely. Though they left the castle unlocked, that's a, a lack of security. <laughs> I mean, they literally invaded, went into the castle, grabbed the king, and dragged him outside. So, oh, I'm pretty mind. sure they wouldn't lock up after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Didn't think that one through, did I? <laughs> Last guy out, out of the castle has to lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> they only do like, a fun little race. It's <laughs> time. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so well, I, we've been to this castle before. Yeah, so, we know so you'd plan. know your way around. Okay, so I'll go to the keep. Okay, so you go to the keep and the door is closed, but it is unlocked. So you're able to get in, and you see a ton of gold, pe- gold and treasures, and like uh, jewelry, and like statuettes wow. of okay. different, different kinds. Um, I, I'm not really interested in the treasure per se, but like I, we do need the gold to revive the elven down. So okay. um, <clears throat> ordinarily, I wouldn't do this because lawful good, but the king did hire us, so I'll just consider this our payment. So we'll take. How many gold pieces are there? Uh, there'd probably be... The better question is, how much can you carry? <laughs> there'd, there'd probably be about, like, a... Probably, like, a thousand at least, if not more. Okay, I'll, I'll take it all, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll split it evenly. No, I'm just gonna take it all. Okay, uh... <laughs> Oh, I found nothing in the room! What are you doing in the game? <laughs> what?! <laughs> Luckily, there was a large, like, cloth bag that you could fill with gold pieces just next to you, all of the gold. Sweet. <laughs> Does there happen to be a bag of holding in this treasure room? No, there's Ah, uh, my bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, well, I'll just take this big-ass bag of okay. gold and walk out, I guess. Okay, and I'll go to you, please. Uh, inside this king's bedroom, uh, you see... A lot of whips. Mind <laughs> 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 <Mango>. uh, <laughs> <a> kinky guy! <laughs> he's got, like, a really extravagant bed with, like, extravagant designs and, like, the bed frame and, like, the headboard. And there's, like, curtains or whatever they're called. Or it's, like, a four-poster bed, so yeah. all around. It's, like, all silk and whatnot. The dresser, there's... You, when you search the dresser, you find a bunch of letters and notes and deeds and stuff like that as well. In a different dresser, you find about 50 gold pieces, <laughs> and you do find a couple of keys, and you do find a dagger with an uh, emerald pommel. Oh, man, this town is full of great daggers. Um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the dagger. And I'll take the 50 gold pieces. Uh, I have no need for his deeds or his written documents yeah. or anything. <laughs> uh, that's not really knowledge I care about. Uh, the 50 I'm taking just because like, the we need money to revive. <laughs> the yeah. dagger I can always use another knife in my okay. arsenal. And then um, uh, I'm going to check under his bed. That's <laughs> where people always hide their most important valuables. Yeah. Uh, under his bed you find <laughs> one million dollars. <laughs> Like, under the mattress, or under, like, Both. the... Okay. Uh, under the mattress, you find a couple of porno bags. <laughs> <laughs> Six ways to make a dirty crib. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you won't believe... Number seven. <laughs> you won't believe 69. <laughs> 69. And then, under his bed, you do find a container that just has a bunch of his personal items from his, like... Personal items. <laughs> <laughs> that is with the air quotes for the listeners. Uh, you just a lot of stuff that he's like saved from his childhood or growing up and stuff like that. Well, that would just be immoral, so I'm not going to take those. I'll put it all back. Uh, there's nothing else to really examine in the room. Not really. No. no. Well, I got the money for the spell. Every king's bedroom has a secret room. Fine. Uh, can I do an investigation check? Sure. You know, can I do it with advantage? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, <right? laughs> 
Uh, I rolled a 12. Yeah. Or uh, 11, sorry. You don't find any secret rooms or anything? No. Or secret doors? No. Or the try. Uh, Check inside the dresser. There's a voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's talking to me. <laughs> I, I will tear open all the drawers and everything. Like, I'm not leaving anything unopened. Yeah. Uh, you just find a bunch of his clothes and other personal items and, like, ledgers, notebooks, stuff like that. But that's really... Nice. You also find a uh, first edition of How to Make Crepes on, a, on his bedside Stop. table. I did it! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Oh, you sneaky bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in my bag of holding. Fuck you, king! That's mine! <laughs> Uh, does he have any fancy hats? Uh, he has all the fancy hats in the world. Like, there are a few top hats, there's a few, uh, hats that are just made of, out of feathers. There's one that, uh, that looks like it's just to put on to make you, like, like you have a huge mohawk. Sweet. And then there's, uh, also a, a cowboy hat and a sombrero. Uh, well, I'm gonna take the sombrero, the cowboy hat, and the top hat, and the one that looks like a mohawk. I'm gonna put all my back holding except for the top hat, which I'll put on now. Okay. One of those giant, uh, foam cowboy hats. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right as you, like, are stepping away, you see one more hat. It's one of the hats that has, like, a little, uh, windmill on the top. Oh, or one of those beanies? Yeah. Those oh, that's so yeah. adorable. <laughs> I'll also take that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you have to find an extra crown. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk uh, around the crown. No, um, I'll leave the room and wearing my top hat, and I'll. I'm surprised you didn't take one of his robes or something and just wear it. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that'd be funny looks that then it looked like Prince John from Disney's Robin Hood. It was like a lion wearing a uh, robe. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will go to Elrendal. So you're uh, dead. You are dead, and you are walking... Now, now go back to place. <laughs> uh, so, a light is coming towards you, and it embraces you, and the next thing you know, you see a... You see you're in a land that looks a lot like your, like, like, like your home city of Eo? Or was it Mom? Uh, so no, it was, it was Eel. 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 Yeah, so it looks a lot like your home city of Eel. And you see, as you, you see a figure approaching you, he's wearing like a white suit and has re- a really nicely trimmed mustache and beard with like expertly trimmed hair and styled hair. And, uh, behind him, you all see a lot of other people just walking around. Roll a perception check, please. Oh, man. You I was... knew it. <laughs> Doesn't he have his books open? <laughs> He's like, I'll have to play for at least an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I'm, I'm dead. Uh, what was that, sorry? Perception check. He's dead. His eyes don't work. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, at one point, walking be like in the far back of the sound, you do think you see your grandfather, or someone who looks a lot like your grandfather. Um, I think that's gonna that would interest me, and I'm gonna walk up and go go talk uh, to him. Uh, it's me. Before you're able to get there, the man in the white suit approaches you and says, "We have something to talk about." Uh, and that is where we'll leave off on this episode of Nat Twenty. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, you're so dead. <laughs>